sa ating uh, second set. Yeah, counting reminders lang, uh, reviewing what happened. Uh, sinasabi lang yung pwede nilang gawin na mas maganda at mas maayos for the uh, for the remaining part of the set. At ayun nga, Coach O was uh, singling out Joan Narit nung sa kanilang huddle and Narit responds with that uh, tip, soft tip. Kaya naman, five points na yung lamang ng Ateneo dito. So it's nine serving four and this time an attack for San Sebastian that was easily read by Gandler. Nang with the back row uh, set and San Sebastian is having problems with the reception once again. Can Ateneo capitalize? This time, Narit with another tip. Kaya lang, yung kanyang momentum, dinala siya sa net, talking about Narit. Net touch and fraction on the part of Ateneo. Sayang yung attack. Uh, sayang yung attack. It was, way it was way too much lang. But yeah. it was good intention on the part of Narit. So let's turn... Uh, things over to our courtside reporter Megan Cabrera who has uh, something to share to us. Lawrence, another champion coach, is calling the shots today. This is Coach Oliver Almadro, or Coach O of the Blue Eagles. He's a very passionate coach, always gunning for the win every time, and he wants the girls to perform at the top level regardless of the opponent. So for this league, what he wants to build for the Blue Eagles is the connection. With the rookies coming in, he wants the team to gain confidence and the right cohesiveness. Lawrence and Coach Mark. Thank you very much, Megan. As you see that uh, service ace on the part of the Blue Eagles. Nabanggit nga ni Megan, Coach Mark, connections. And tournaments like this helps them connect together and build this team better as they go on to uh, the major tournaments that we're going to have uh, pretty much soon. Kaya lang, San Sebastian calls for a quick timeout. It's 11 to 5, courtesy or leading ang Ateneo this time. So we have eight teams, by the way, competing in this women's volleyball tournament, uh, Coach Mark. And you can catch the games live on the V-League Facebook page, also the V-League website, vleague.ph. So we won't run out of options to watch our games. So let's listen in to what Coach Roger Guerrero has to Kung saan na lang kayo makapwesto, doon na lang. May sistema tayong iniinsayo, gawin ninyo. Ha? Tara, tara, tara! Go, go, go! So Coach Roger was talking about may sistema tayo. And so far, that system is not working wonders, Coach Mark, for them. Because they are down by six. So it's uh, 11 serving five, and here's an attack by San Sebastian, but it was easily received by the Blue Eagles. San Sebastian with another opportunity, but again, they're having errors with their reception. Yeah, like wh what you said, Ganina Lawrence, like, you, this is a perfect opportunity for teams to, to build the, the gelling, to build their system, to test out the system. So I remind lang ni Coach Roger kanina na kailangan mag-follow ka sa sistema. Kailangan magtiwala ng konti dun sa sistema. Yeah, all they need is one point at a time, but this is a sizable advantage already for the Blue Eagles. And uh, they got one point back there. So it's uh, 12 to 6 in favor of the Blue Eagles. But it's 6 serving 12 with season on the service line. Sends the ball over and Nang sends it to Gandler on the open. A rare block, but Ateneo still gets an opportunity at Butas in zone number six. Yeah. Na yon. That's why El Defonso sends the ball there. Yeah, that was a really good attack from, from Pia. Putting the ball in zone six. And if you think about it, it's a lot defense of San Sebastian sa gitna. Si yes. Santos was way off on the zone five. You should be in zone six. So they are uh, having not just reception errors, but also their placement. And because of that uh, placement on the floor, another service ace on the part of uh, Vani Gandler. So this is now an eight point advantage for the Blue Eagles. 14 uh, serving six. San Sebastian has to do something before things get out of hand here in set number two. Because Ateneo is just piling up the points in the middle part of this set. And Gander once again with an attack. Uh, serve but it sailed uh, straight to the net. Yeah, that was a really cheeky intention. Medyo mahina lang yung pagkaka serve ni Vani. But again, same thing with, with what we were talking about kanina is they really need to stop the bleeding by really working hard on the defensive end 
on their reception and in their floor defense. Yeah, and I guess it's not just waiting for Ateneo to commit an error para makascore tong San Sebastian. They have to be on the aggression also and they have to attack that defense of the Blue Eagles. Pero this time, another error gives another free point for the Lady Stags. So it's now 8 serving 14. Kaya lang, yun. Another error, another point for the Blue Eagles. Yeah, yun yung sasabi kanina, Keith. Coach Roger keeps on pointing it out, minimizing those small mistakes na nakakasira ng momentum na binibuild nila. Yeah, that's a big uh, momentum breaker talking about San Sebastian, yung mga ganung errors, especially now that so Ateneo... So, naingit si Narit. Naingit ng konti. <laughs> <laughs> naingit si Narit, ginaya ang, ano, ang nag-service kanina for the ladies' tags. So it's now a uh, Lumibao on the service line for the Lady Stags. Ateneo still has a six-point advantage. Running attack by Miner. Alam, malakas yung kanyang palo. Yeah, was too much for uh, AC Miner on the running attack. Yeah, if you notice at this point, Coach Mark, San Sebastian is scoring off Ateneo's errors. But, hindi ka pwedeng mag-rely lang sa errors ng Ateneo because they do not come as often. So what does uh, San Sebastian has to do to be able to overhaul this advantage? Yeah, it's kaya lang pinopoint out ulit ni Coach Roger kanina, they really need to vary. Hindi nila kailangang sumabay sa kung ano yung inaatake ng Ateneo. So the setter needs to really work hard on uh, season, really needs to work hard on setting up her spikers sa iba't ibang posisyon. Hindi lang pwedeng si Junisio lang yung kailangan uh, mag umatak yan. And again, as you can see, the small errors is happening over the Lady Stags. And uh, that error uh, brings us to our second technical timeout, Ateneo 16, San Sebastian 11. We will be back with more volleyball action live from the Paco Arena. As we go back to live action, the Blue Eagles of Ateneo leading 16 to 11. Medyo nagkakapalita tayo ng errors dito, Coach Mark. Pero yung ng bintahe ng Ateneo masyado malaki. That's why they can afford those mistakes. Kaya lang itong San Sebastian cannot afford those. At paagang panimula ni Miner after that second technical timeout. Regalo mula sa San Sebastian and Miner delivered. Yeah, same same exact error that the latest tags are committing. Yung reception nila giving that very easy uh, easy free ball to minor. Yeah, and that's something that you cannot afford against an efficient team like uh, the Blue Eagles, yung mga mga pagkakamali. Dahil they can capitalize on those mistakes and this time San Sebastian with an attack and they score. That was a really nice, uh, really lucky attack from Tina Marcigan over the defense of Ateneo. Medyo mataas lang ng konti yung defense nila. Yeah, checking out this replay, hinanapan na lang niya ng uh, magandang angulo yung bola na yun. Kaya lang, hindi na maging, uh, naging maganda yung angulo ng bola from uh, that service for the Lady Stags. Kaya naman balik sa anim itong kalamangan ng Blue Eagles. That's why we are going to have a substitution as well on the part of the Lady Eagles. So that's a uh, Lomosco coming in for Fujimoto. So, palita ng setter on the part of the ladies, uh, Blue Eagles rather. And on deck to serve for Ateneo is uh, Lian de Guzman. Easily received and a good set. At medyo malayo si de Guzman from that uh, point. That's why Tan scored. Yeah, that was a really uh, smart attack from Tan. 
kasi hindi mo pwedeng paluin ng malakas lang yun eh. Uh, may naka-stabbing, may medyo naabutan siya ng blocking. So that tip over the blockers was a real a smart move on that play. Yeah, the Blue Eagles was already established uh, with uh, they were already waiting for a strong attack. Meanwhile, there's uh, some confusion on the floor on the part of the Lady Stags. They are checking the formation or the rotation nitong uh, San Sebastian. And uh, they are conferring with the second referee, checking kung tama ba itong alignment ng uh, Lady Stags. I think they're having a confusion who's the server on that rotation. Yeah, pero pag ganyan, coach, pwede namang itanong sa second referee ano, kung medyo hindi nyo maalala kung sino yung yes. serve. Pwede namang... Normally, the team captain asks for who's the, who's the server. Yeah, pwede namang i-consult na yan. Oh. Yeah. Hindi masamang magtanong. Hindi masamang. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> may yung magtanong. Okay. Habi nga. And again, they're uh, checking... Uh, the rotation, making sure that uh, it is correct. Again, Ateneo uh, having a six-point advantage here in uh, set number two. What is working well for the Blue Eagles? Kaya naman malaking lamang nila, Coach. Actually, as on this on this set, and even the, the first set, uh, Ateneo is really re uh, receiving the ball well. That's why they were able to set up their offense on both ends. Pwede dun sa, pwede sa open, pwede sa utility. And then nagagamit nila yung mga middles sila. Like AC Miners have been doing a lot of damage with the, the running attacks. Si Narit also has a couple of uh, good quick attacks. So yun naman yung di mo nakikita masyado sa side ng San Sebastian. Uh, from the start of the set up to this uh, current score, medyo hirap na hirap sila sa reception nila. At saka mabibilang mo rin yung umi-score sa San Sebastian. You have uh, Dionisio, you have Marasigan, and Tan. Tan. So outside of those three names, uh, the other players of the ladies' tags have to deliver and step up to be able to overcome this uh, six-point deficit against Ateneo. So action continues. Mga uh, tapos na yung ating court case uh, on the floor. And uh, that's why AC Minor is now on the service line. It's a 19 serving 13. But uh, Coach Roger Gorayeb uh, sues for time after that uh, confusion with the rotation. It's 19 Ateneo, 13 Sebastian, San Sebastian. We will be back with more volleyball action from the Paco Arena. Hey, alam nyo, kanina pa mali yun. Ngayon lang nila kay Norek. It's all one. Kaya ko siya, ang dami lang ages si Jessica. Oo nga eh, pabayaan nyo na. Sige, ano na lang ha? Uh, ah, sino na mag-service? Ikaw, oh, yeah, palitan mo na, ikaw na mag-service, ha? Huwag ka, <laughs> ano? Pwesoan nyo maigi. Malakas yung, may, lahat sila may pumapalo, harap likod. Sino yung nandun sa kabilang dulo ron? Ikaw, makawag mo, pababayaan yung git. Saluhin mo yung, ano, wala ka naman mabablak ng ganun, malaki sa'yo yun. Ha? Sige, hindi naman natin mali yan. Mali ng table yan. Go, let's go. Tara. Go. Sige. Red, you see? Coach Roger Gureyev forced to call a timeout after that uh, confusion regarding their rotation. W what do you think uh, happened there, Coach Mark? Actually, na naka nakaikot na ng ilang beses na mali yung server. And, but again, sabi nga ni Coach Roger, tapos na yun. Uh, he was really, still uh, was positive about what happened. Kalimutan na nila, move on. Yeah, and that's why with that reset, nakapunto sila courtesy of Tan. And uh, some uh, change of personnel for San Sebastian. Tan goes out in favor of Bermilio for the Lady Stags. Uh, that's a dual Bermilio now on the service line. And they have a five-point deficit to work with. Talking about the Lady Stags. Kaya lang, service out. Sabi nga ng ating uh, venue announcer. So another mistake for San Sebastian. They just couldn't capitalize kapag nagkakaroon sila ng momentum. Tama. And, and normally, when that substitution happens, is 
ikaw yung inaasahan nilang makapasok ng bola. And sometimes it's really hard for for your I mean for the player to make that mistake. And double block ay naman on the part of San Sebastian dahil after that service error, ito namang si Lumosgo with a service ace of her own. So it's now 21-7 uh, serving 14. That's a seven point lead for the Blue Eagles. Lumosco sends the ball over. Season back set. And this time, San Sebastian connects. That's a, again, Dionisio doing the hard work for San Sebastian. And a really hard work for Dionisio because uh, the, her teammates have to catch up with what she's doing dito for uh, San Sebastian. It's 15 serving 21. Back set for Ateneo. But that was blocked, but they will have an opportunity to reset. Gandler this time, blocked again. Bump set, and they send the ball over to the Lady Stags. Pagkakataon ng San Sebastian to score a looper of an attack. Easily read there. And an easy over once again by Doromal. San Sebastian, middle attack. And they deliver. A good counter-attack by Lumi Bao. And again, makikita mo na ito yung sinasabi pa na nasa kailangan pumasok ka sa sistema para makapuntos kayo. That was a really good counter-attack uh, for the San Sebastian. Yeah, they were, stags. they were putting it into system, talking about their middle attacks. Ngayon naman, babawi sana ang Ateneo, pero nabasa yon ng San Sebastian with their floor defense. And that's two straight points for the Lady Stags. Marasigan using the hands of the blocker. Pacheck out lang. Kaya nga nagsasabi na hindi kailangan malakas. No? Kailangan discarten mo lang minsan yung palo mo to be able to score. And that's why medyo natapkesan na nitong San Sebastian yung kalamangan ng Ateneo. 21 sir, 17. And San Sebastian is giving chase but they were able to send the ball over. Opportunity for the Blue Eagles to score. Dromal with a bump set. El Defonso scores. Pia El Defonso ending that rally with a lucky uh, break from the net. Nagawan pa ng paraan ng Ateneo yung play na yun. It was like a broken out of system play already. But they were, they were able to convert it into points. Kaya naman nasa kanila ang service ngayon. And it's Vani Gandler on deck to serve this time. Good serve for Gandler. Season giving chase. And that's a point for San Sebastian. San Sebastian capitalizing on that uh, attack. Wala pa sa pwesto si Bani, putting that ball on that spot. So nagkakaroon ng strategy ang San Sebastian dito na yung server, doon nila dinadala yung bola kasi hindi pa nakapwesto on the defense. And speaking of pagdadala ng bola, no problems there for Joan Narit just sending the ball to an open spot. Yeah. Joan Narit towering over the defense. Okay. Uh, Having an easy time looking for open spots on the floor. And Narit will take a breather for a while. And coming in is uh, their service specialist, Kiara Cruz. Good serve and a good reception. And an attack was blocked. San Sebastian sending the ball over easily for the Blue Eagles. They have an opportunity to execute. Kaya lang miscommunication at the middle. At this time, Atine uh, San Sebastian was able to capitalize on that mistake by the Blue Eagles. Marasigan with a cross-court hit. So San Sebastian trying to inch closer in this set number two. And pinasok na ulit si Tan. Yeah, go ahead, Coach. Yeah, and, and this is one of the things na kailangan hindi, ma mag hindi ka pwedeng mag-relax on the side of Ateneo. Yeah, because San Sebastian is just uh, using their heart to be able to fight in this set. Kaya lang yung reception na yun ng San Sebastian sailed out. That's why uh, Ateneo was able to score another point and they're now at set point. Blue Eagles have five set points to work with with Pia El Defonso serving for the Blue Eagles. And pinapos na kagad ni El Defonso. Ayaw niya nang patagalin yung set with that ace. And uh, that point by Ildefonso closes set number two. Same scoreline as set number one, Coach Mark. Yeah. Ateneo 25, San Sebastian 19. 
We will be back with uh, more volleyball action with set number three between Ateneo and San Sebastian. This is the 2022 G-League Challenge Cup Women's Volleyball Elimination Round.